최근 미국 정부는 외계 존재에 대한 청문회를 계속 진행하고 있습니다. 정부 청문회에서 가장 인상적인 인물들은 외계 존재들과 접촉을 하며 신성한 존재와 조우를 했다고 주장하는 크리스 플레스와 제이크 바버입니다. 흥미로운 것은 이두명 모두 여신을 만났다고 주장을 한다는 것입니다. 우선 크리스 블레소의 이야기를 들어보시겠습니다. 크리스 블레소는 이스라엘이 이란을 공격하면 그로부터 1년이나 2년 뒤에 세상을 뒤흔들 일이 일어날 것이라고 말을 합니다. One thing she told me was when you see Iran and Israel exchanging missiles and I saw it the way she tells me is a vision of I see it like a living picture screen. I could see the rockets flying. Then all of a sudden, orbs appeared out of the ocean and everywhere. And I told the government, that's, if, you, if this happens, the orbs are going to appear and wake people up and stop it. That's what she told me. Is, Iran was firing rockets into Israel. Orbs appeared everywhere. And then the government freaks out. Oh, my God. They pulled the plug. De-escalated the fight. The orbs went away. Before that encounter, you'd been suffering from debilitating Crohn's disease. Right. You're saying it was cured after that night. Yeah, it, it went away. And I had it for almost 18 years. And I went back to my doctor. So you do have, I was going to ask you this, you do have confirmation from doctors, medical yes. records, medical evidence to prove that your Crohn's disease completely disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you talk to... people like NASA, the CIA, government officials, and I've spoken to some of these people. They've confirmed to me that they've come to your house and they've seen highly unusual, anomalous phenomena. I've heard corroboration from people who've been with you who say they can confirm they've seen this phenomena happening right in front of them. And yet, as far as I can see, Congress is completely stuck in the mud at the moment on this issue. There's not a lot happening. I think they're looking my way. You think so? You've spoken of an apocalypse or global upheaval. You purport to be able to communicate with these non-human beings or whatever they are, gods, beings. What are they telling you about apocalyptic events? What they told me, and again, I put this in writing back in 2012. I, hand, I handed it to Timothy Taylor. which he took to NASA, to the Pentagon. They didn't say it was an apocalypse, that's funny. Um, what she said was there will be, when we see Israel and Iran doing their thing and the orbs begin to appear, from that point forward, they're going to begin to awaken the people. And there was no stopping it. And if we went to war, they would stop it. the entities, the beings, are going to intervene yep. to stop us from killing ourselves. They did that during November, and on television. And disclosure of the fact of a non-human intelligence. It'll come next year. You believe next year? I'm sure. I feel sure. I think the government has got to. They have no choice. Because when these orbs appeared, and it showed them that they... I was in D.C. and I heard some of the conversation when they said, oh, my God, this is catastrophic. If we don't tell it now, they may come back in 2026 and land. And if they do that, we just lost the control of our country. It is the lady explained to me that in April of 26, there would be an alignment where this star, of, which is a blue star, of Regulus appears on the horizon in front of the Sphinx, and it will be red. And you know what? This is right. That's what she said. I've actually spoken to astronomers. This is the phenomenal thing about this. Yeah, and she yeah. said it'll be red. And when that happens, it would mark a shift into a new knowledge, not an apocalypse. That's what she told me. Is your religion the Catholic faith? <laughs> no, I was born and raised a Baptist. A Baptist? Yeah. How have these experiences that your family has endured or gone through, how have they affected your family life? Has it been a positive experience? It was, it was the worst because when I reported it, my wife and I, my, I married a Pentecostal holiness. Oh, they thought it was the devil, right? I come home talking about this. Oh, I was... Is it true your church 
the Baptist church did an exorcism on your family? Well, they would bring holy water and the Pentecostal church. They'd come flashing holy water, sprinkling it all around my yard and on me and everything else. But the entities kept on coming. Yeah, they never left. They still left. <laughs> they were leading the blues. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get a sense, obviously, of what they are. What are they? If I told you I knew for sure it would be lying, mm -hmm. I can tell you that um, this, this is a door there that we didn't know the door was there. Now we know the door is there, and that door is cracked open a tiny bit, and out of there there's a little light gone. But what's behind that door, we don't know. Is it an angel? Yeah. So when you use the term angel, are you literally referring to a Christian god angels? No. What I'm referring to is that word means it's here, it's around us, it's connected to our consciousness, and then it can harm you or hurt you or bless you. There is a Collins elite. There's a group of people inside the Pentagon and the intelligence community who do genuinely believe that this phenomenon is demonic, right. evil. Right. Are they wrong? Yep. I mean, it's an extraordinary situation. I don't mean any dis disrespect to you, Chris, right. but you're a, a broke businessman <laughs> right. from North Carolina. Right. And uh, a bunch of non-human in intelligence types come and hang around around your home, yep. it, fill your head with all these incredible ideas and messages and love, and you start passing it on to the Pentagon at the very highest levels. Yeah, and I, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and some of the highest levels of science out there. Do you think disclosure is inevitable? Yes. And when you say disclosure, what do you mean? You're going to get an announcement, maybe by the president or somebody high up in his cabinet that people, because until President Trump says it's real, nobody's going to believe it. When you see this divine Mother Mary being, is it a humanoid creature? Yeah, looks just like a classic um, Virgin Mary painting that you see. And what do you feel when you talk to her? Um, like I'm in the presence of God or something so divine that I can't. Even, I, I want to cry the whole time. I've been crying 18 years. It makes you cry. Jake says the same thing. He was actually crying. <laughs> yeah. he, it's, it's such a profoundly emotional event for him. It's like a trauma. 자, 제이크 바버는 미국 공군 출신인데 그 역시 크리스가 만났다고 주장하는 여신의 에너지와 만났다고 합니다. 제이크 바버는 어떤 감정을 느꼈는지 한번 들어보시겠습니다. I felt like something was inside of me. I felt like I was possessed by the most <웃음> beautiful spirit I'd ever been possessed by and it was loving um, but there was a sense of sadness at the same time and um, had you ever had an experience like this before no no it was a very feminine energy I'll tell you that I, it felt like felt like the spirit of God but not in any masculine sense that I had ever felt. It was like, again, the feeling of my mother um, and my daughter and beauty. Uh, and it wasn't like a soul, it was like a frequency that I was connected with. Chris와 Jake가 경험한 존재가 무엇인지는 아직 정확히 알 수가 없습니다. 하지만, 크리스의 경우 신적인 존재와 2012년 4월부터 만나기 시작했으며 우연의 일치인지는 모르겠지만 2012년 3월에 스위스에 위치한 입자 가속기는 2012년 3월에 입자 중돌 실험을 했습니다. 그리고 2012년 3월에 일어난 실험 결과를 바탕으로 신의 입자를 발견했습니다. 스위스에 위치한 CERN이라고 불리는 이 연구기관이 입자 가속기를 이용해 다른 차원의 문을 계속 열고 있다는 이야기가 돌고 있습니다. 이 연구소에서 근무하는 과학자로부터 직접 이야기를 들었다는 전직 세계보건기구 관료이자 과학자인 아스트리드 박사의 이야기를 들어보시겠습니다. Yes, because uh, actually CERN is dealing with um, radio, radio nuclear research. 
But it is more than that because there are lots of physicians. I know some that are doing very strange experimentation. There are beings from portals coming in and out. It's physicists from the CERN who told me this. They've testified so to beings coming in and out of portals. Yes. What and and they were beings? saying, I mean, I, I met them at a dinner and, and there were two of them. And uh, both said that, yes, they have, you know, there are 17 different dimensions of reality. 과연 크리스 블레소가 경험하고 있는 신적인 존재는 다른 차원에서 오는 존재가 아닐까요? 여러분들의 의견이 궁금합니다. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다.